okay uh, so embedded system uh, code number w8691 unit 5 the embedded system application and development so it's a basic case study of washing machine so washing machine uh, it support three functional modes one is fully automatic mode another one is semi automatic mode another one is manual mode so people already know uh, day to day day to day life they are using a uh, washing machine uh, so in there uh, they are used uh, fully automatic even semi automatic and manual a uh, manual mode so fully automatic means we can put uh, uh, all the things as uh, you know even if you uh, set the time so even how much water level needed uh, how much uh, that uh, detergent power liquid uh, the density it is needed and how much time it, it have to wash and finally how much water is secured and how much water uh, have to put it in outside everything decided by machine so we just uh, switch on the machine and we have we just select uh, which mode we want to wash so that is only uh, we can select but other uh, all the options uh, automatically selected by machine so that is called as fully automatic so it it can it it will wash uh, rinse and finally the cloth uh, get it uh, try to dry in uh, around uh, uh, 80 percentage of uh, water uh, totally dried then 20 percent you have to put it as uh, in sunlight so this is called as fully automatic mode and semi-automatic mode uh, so this is a condition uh, you know uh, some of the uh, function user have to operate and some of the function machine have to operate that means uh, if you put the clothes uh, and you have to uh, uh, you know you have to select the function also you have to uh, select the water level and uh, time everything you have to fix and then uh, the machine will do the remaining function uh, then the semi-automatic and finally after washed then you have to put it in some other place then it will be getting dried uh, that is called a semi automatic machine manual mode manual mode everything you ha have to decide instead of machine work then uh, you have to uh, you have to select it and you have to select the water level and you have to select uh, when the which time we have to put the detergent and when the time it has to stop then uh, everything you have to decide and manually operate everything so that is called as uh, manual mode so based on the mode of the machine cost uh, might be ra uh, it will be very so if it is basic manual mode the cost is less then semi automatic mode cost is little bit more then fully automatic mode cost might be very so this is the way the uh, uh, washing machine level uh, cost is very and next one is uh, what are the components available in washing machine so driving motor water pump system controller display panel sensor inverter unit so these are the uh, things the components are available in washing machine so system controller is a brain of the system which provide the power control of various various monitor and pumps and even control and display so this is washing washing machine components so they are having a front panel timer agitator so agitator is nothing but that's the center part actually this is a front load washing machine uh, sorry it is a top load washing machine so the components having agitator agitator work front and back uh, you know you might be seen from the advertisement then uh, inner tube outer tube air dome seal center post uh, ga gasket then uh, water pump 
so this is everything shown in the picture so that's our uh, top of the washing machine this is a front load washing machine components uh, you know hot water supply cold water supply they put it in separately but in even uh, uh, nowadays uh, we used uh, that washing machine uh, can automatically uh, uh, the water uh, getting hot that means you don't be, you don't need to put it in uh, two supply there's only supply one supply is enough that supply they get it from cold water then the water getting hot by that washing machine so which mode you are selected based on that the water will be sent to the particular uh, washing then emergency drain tub and uh, debris fill uh, everything you know door control panel detergent drawer you know that people uh, maximum people they use in the washing machine people know that how the functions are working the working component you know display panel sensor water level sensor driving motor so driving motor it work forward and reverse both direction it will be work so it's a single motor in fully automatic or uh, double work actually you know that single uh, we already know the mode of washing machine fully automatic and semi automatic that fully automatic they have used a single motor for semi automatic uh, they used to double motor a single motor control all the functions in the washing machine that is called as uh, fully automatic that's there they are used to double motor for semi automatic machine next uh, how the sequence of washing is uh, going you people know how uh, they wash in the washing machine uh, first of all you have to put the dirty clothes to washing tub uh, and put the detergent soap uh, based on your choice then you have to on the tap water uh, the ta tap water uh, rushes inside the tub uh then the electronic control you have to press the key which mode you want to select then after that uh, the washing time will be settled uh, automatically the operating uh, up it will be settled by machine then motor rotates the washer close and when when it is completed then it will give the beep sound to the user it is completed then they uh, I took it to the uh, uh, for drying uh, put it in proper sunlight then the they will be get the cloth again they were saying a uh, front load tap load this we already just now discussed what is front load and tap load also we saw the components of the washing machines and system controller system controller it control the motor speed and the motor working as forward direction as well as reverse direction control reads the speed of motor and control speed of motor different phase such as washing uh, then water pump water pump is recirculate the water and drain the uh, water out of the uh, at washing machine it two separate pumps are inside one then following factors influence choice of language so rtos you know that's a real time operating system it's a uh, software uh, control the uh, multiple uh, applications uh, while it work you know that uh, rtos give the priority scheduler to the particular application then the rtos uh, it will be monitor the application whether which one is first which one is last and it will control the overall application so this is needed in future so language also set up by uh, you know it's a high level language they use uh, the memory management dynamic static memory location everything it's already set up in embedded programming language so we know what is embedded system so hardware language or software language and rtos uh, three components are compared in embedded system so in washing machine they used to hardware language that is vhdl very hardware description language uh so this language uh, already we know there are two types one is pgstl and very large so uh, it it will be uh, based on the coding if you type the coding then uh, after that uh, it will be synthesized uh, then you can check it uh, how the functions high level function low level function 
how it will be work and uh, you know that uh, we are still having gate level function um, how if the function is uh, before the hardware manufacturing we can test it uh, similarly the very lack uh, the hardware description language the uh, they are having the classification there are four level of abstraction one is algorithmic level so algorithmic level is a c language code it has if case loop statement everything is there then the register transfer level rtl rtl level so it's a boolean equations are present in the coding then uh, gate level and gate r gate uh, used that uh, xr gate so these are the interconnections in the coding then switch level they use the cmatch coding so these are the uh, four level of abstraction used in verilog coding uh, first they will be write the coding then uh, they debug the coding uh, that means synthesize the coding finally they will be get the output and schematic diagram so using that they will be sent to the manufacturer after uh, get the output of the diagram so software language used in uh, c c++ uh, okay so we will start the video uh, so we will start the video then we will start from the slide thank you